Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Talk and Moments. With the touch, you have to know exactly where to rub, exactly where to put your mouth in. Why exactly. then change? You know, when a guy is chasing you, you will chase like his life. Five ways to nab a guy. Yes, I'm still a learner. A lot of people out there who are newlyweds, people who have been married for a while. And as you are thinking, oh, when are you getting married? Mm-hmm. How are you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When I was your age, I was married. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Talk at Moments. My name is Talk at Makingwa. The vlog is back. Doing my chicken dance. I'm so excited. Oh my God, I missed me myself. Are you kidding me? Thank you to everyone who reached out to me while the vlog was on a little break. I'll tell you why we decided to go on a break. So I was watching a couple of episodes from the past and I saw the journey of the vlog and it made me smile deeply. The fact that when we started, it was something that I shot my very first video on my friend's bed, actually, and I didn't think anything of it. And it became something that God has been so faithful, you know, it became something that has transcended beyond me, transported, transpired, or whatever, beyond my own imagination. Because of this vlog, I have friends in Kenya, in Jamaica. Yeah, I got an email from someone in Jamaica. Can you believe that? Non-Nigerian, by the way. Uh, in London, in America. The list is endless. I mean, I walk on the streets in certain countries and people recognize me and I'm so thankful for that. You guys are so good to me. <laughs> like, I cannot thank you enough. <laughs> I can sit here all day and just say thank you. All right, so my favorite thing of the week, yes, the favorite thing of the week is still here. On the streets right now, there's something called the Toka Glow. Yes, the Toka Makinwa Glow. Mm, my highlights. Yeah, it's very famous right now. Uh, I use Anastasia uh, as highlights. I've shown you guys that before in the vlog. But I need to browse who's my makeup artist always uses Inglot for me. So it's called Inglot. It is the sparkling dust. It's for the face. The eyes, yeah, you can use it for your, your, each time you wear like eyeshadow, yeah, your tear dots, I think that's what it's called. So, it's like this shimmery thing, you know, when you wear your foundation and you wear your highlights, it's just the last thing you just put, just dust, so that when you walk into a place, ha, you arrive. This thing, you will snatch somebody's boo with this thing. You will get a boyfriend fast. Just use it, you know, the Tucker Glow. Tell your makeup artist to find a way to use the Tucker Glow. Let's talk about what we'll be talking about today. Very important uh, message that I have to pass on to you. Hmm. You see, I find it very sad when I see some people in their late 30s, early 40s, guys, most especially, you find a 43 year old man acting like he's suffering from a middle life crisis or a late life crisis. I'm not quite sure which one it is. Things they were supposed to do at a certain age, they didn't do it. So today I have decided to bring to you those things that you must do in your 20s. Because as far as I'm concerned, your 20s are those fun years your 20s are the you know get out of jail card this is the year where you can do anything you can become a prostitute you can do whatever you want to do i didn't say stand on the street but you get my gist like do things in your early 20s then this time it's mechanical so when you are approaching from like 17 18 19 towards like 23 24 that's like your three years do any when i say anything get a tattoo Kiss a stranger. Don't date too seriously. I'll find like a 21 year old girl telling me how, you know, you thought the guy was going to marry you. You are 21! Why do you want to get married at that age? Do you even know what marriage is? Like, you need to calm down, do things when you're supposed to do them. In your 20s, you can club hop, bar crawl. Are you joking? You can go out from Sunday to Sunday, join a club, party, drink till like, you know, you cannot recognize yourself anymore, point at somewhere on the map and decide to go there, sleep till it's 12 o'clock. You can still take money from parents or uncles. I'm not saying uncle, uncles, like legit uncle, someone that's related to you. You know, you can leave off your family if you're about 19, 20. Some people in some certain countries already get jobs when they're about 16, 17. But ideally, from... 17 18 yeah when you're done with school to 25 i think those are the years that you have no business taking life too seriously life is mad at you all the times you're complaining life is upset with you and life is passing by you know you find so many people who die on accomplish and you ask yourself what did you use your years for think if death should come today because death can come any fucking time do you understand think if death should come today what do you want to say you did with your life your 20s you were there crying for one boy who was probably just shuffling cards changing girls up and down your 20s you were tying scarf not doing anything you didn't go out you didn't make friends you were just there just dry 
as in who you help. Do you understand? In your 20s, you develop yourself. You go out, have baths, you know, do your hair, pierce your body parts, get a tattoo, kiss a stranger, have a one-night stand. I didn't have a one-night stand, but I definitely kissed a stranger. I'll never forget. Just ask, hey, can I kiss you? Mm, it's one of those things, and you move on from it. Do you understand? You build good friendships. Spend time with your friends. You know, get crash a party. Yes, you're in your 20s. Nobody knows. Do those things till you're like 24, going on 25. You see, when 25 just hits you like this, you have to do a turnaround. Nobody can recognize you with that party girl, with that club boy. You now begin to sort of take your life seriously. You get a good job. You begin to sort of, you know, see things in a different perspective. You know, then you can start saying, okay, I'm 25 now. I'm still partying. I'm still having fun, turning up, hanging out with my girls, changing my hair. You know, basically not letting any man stress me. She, I'm 25. Do you understand? Then you're like 27. Clock. Family members are already reminding you, you need to marry. Then you cannot start taking things seriously. Like, okay, if I meet a guy at 27, let's see where this is going. We can date for a year and a half. By that point, you are knocking 29, you can get married, have your kids, you know, 31, 32. Some people did that in their 20s. There's nothing wrong with you. But I'm saying, live your life. Do you understand? Now, things that you cannot be doing in your 30s, going on 40s. Let me just tell you right now. You cannot be packing yourself at a click. When you are like 37, 38, you cannot be toasting every girl that is blue, red, purple, white, just because you think you have some money right now and girls do not answer you in your 20s. You find so many men in a nightclub and you ask them, what is a 45-year-old man doing partying every single night? Friday you party, Saturday you party, Sunday you party. You form this nonsense group that boys have on their chat where you be sending naked photos to yourself. You are in your 40s, mate. Ah, no. It looks bad on you. Do you understand? And as a female, in your 30s, you cannot be club hopping at 35. I mean, it's all right to have one night out or two nights out. I mean, it's nice to catch up with your friends. But all those crashing parties, doing things every other weekend, you know, no finding time, sleeping all through the weekend is wrong. You know, take a cooking class, exercise. You're in your 30s. You know, take work seriously. Get out of your debt. At 30 something, you're still collecting money from your parents. Ah, as Sister Kechi says, the thunder that is firing you is coming from afar. Do you understand? In your 30s, you cannot be living off your parents. It's even disgraceful. I'm embarrassed for you. You know, when you're 30s, you do not need to explain yourself to anyone. Like, drama-free relationships. Hell yeah, pile it on. In my 20s, we can be fighting, eyeing each other, we're not talking. You said this about me, you do not say this about me. You did this to me. I'm 31 now, going to be 32 in November. And my life is easy. You know, I don't have friends that are high maintenance. I'm not fighting anyone. My hair is growing right. You know, I'm just taking care of myself, loving myself, and I'm loving it. So, in your 30s, decongest your life. You know, slow down a little bit. Try to focus because these are your years that you cannot get back. These are the years that really, really count as far as I'm concerned. You see, your 20s are the years to make your mistakes, learn from them. It's like practice years. So, when you enter 30, your your own person you cannot be begging friendship in your taxes are you a crazy person are they doing you from your village at 38 you're not thinking about having one night stands do you not see that you're doing just crossing things wrongly like you're just doing the wrong thing at the right time if 38 right time S solid relationships yes yeah if you are, you're not married it's not your fault you come when it's supposed to come but at least you're dating to go somewhere when you're 38 39 i mean i would hope that you know You've achieved the things that you want to achieve for yourself. So that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. To all those people that are always in a hurry to grow up. You know, you see the young people today. I'm way like that. I remember I'll have aunties or friends that'll tell me then, calm down. Because I always made friends with people that were not in my age category. So they're like, calm down, breathe. These things will happen. And I didn't believe them. But I tell you today, all the things they promised me, I'm seeing it now. Do you understand? So this was like a quick reminder. So you stop for a second and ask yourself, analyze your life. How are you living? You know, are you having fun? Are you being the best that you can be? Fun, yes, do it. You know, do all sorts of things. Do it because you can. Don't explain yourself to anyone when you're in your 30s because you're supposed to do that in your 20s, okay? Yes, today, draw out a sheet of paper and ask yourself. I know a lot of people who might be watching in their 30s. 40s or maybe 50 i hope that when you think about your 20s you think about it with a huge smile on your face don't be like those people that date seriously yeah i was one of them relationship problem this guy must marry me this guy must do this the whole of my 20s went by like this i was like who you know i wish i dated different boys 
You know, it's okay. Don't let anybody lie to you. Yes, yeah, double play them. Your mother will tell you have five boyfriends. She knows what she's saying. The one for ice cream, the one for flowers, the one just for talk, the one that just wants to give you a good time. Don't take them seriously. So that when you look back, you too, you tell your future husband that in my days, I was a Susie, a baby girl. Do you know how many guys were toasting me? I enjoyed the toast. But if you now give your whole life to one man at 21, hello, please, sister. Are you joking? All the time you're supposed to, you know, cry. Find different guys from different places. One guy will lie to you. It's all good. It's part of it. You know, you lie to the guy as well. You break up, you make up, you meet another person. It's much better because when you look back, when you're ready to settle down, you don't have all those withdrawing syndromes where you're thinking, ah, you know, is there something else? That's why I think a lot of men actually cheat in their marriages because times they were supposed to use to do the things they're supposed to do. They didn't do it. Now they were probably buried deep in books. No girl looked at them at that point. Now that they think they have small change, just small change, Joe. I said they even have plenty of money like that. They are in the club buying champagne. Have you given your wife money to cook in the house? You're buying champagne. Have you changed your girlfriend's hair? Look at you. You are there saying, hey, can I meet you? What's going on? You look good. Not cute, though. Good. Can I talk to you? Here's my number, please. Call me. What are your friends drinking? You guys want champagne? Yes, yes. On the house of me. Full nonsense. If you're one of those guys, I judge you. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And follow me on Twitter. I am a Turkstar with a double R. Until I come your way again, don't do that which you're supposed to do today, tomorrow, and tomorrow today. I know that God dictates all our lives. I get it. But also, he's giving you wisdom so you can make the right choices and you can live well. You know, let your tomorrow thank you for what you did yesterday. I'll chat with you guys on the next episode of Talk Moments.